Hello, all you beautiful people out there. What is going on? This is your friend Brady coming at you fast with another in depth hero guide for Paragon. And today we're going to be looking at Narbash, who is going to be played like a support tank in this game. Now, his main role that you should play him as is a support, and the way we're going to build him is we're going to build him tanky, which you guys can check out my Beast Builds video already if you want the build in depth and just totally detailed and decked out right in front of your beautiful faces. You guys can check that. There's going to be a link in the description below. But this video is actually a guide on to how to play Narbash, just in general, how to slot him, how to build him, how to play, use his abilities correctly in team fights and stuff like that. So you guys can get the best out of Narbash. And here I was lagging. Uh, uh, this was taken from stream. So that's why you see my face over there in the top left. Hopefully it can entertain you a little bit. But yeah, let's get into it. So the first ability that I like to slot with Narbash is actually his Thunk ability, which on mount, on PC is right click. Uh, on PS4, I'm pretty sure it's R1. That is the first ability I like to go into. A lot of people like to go into the regenerative aura ability in the very first time, but uh, it just drains so much mana so quick in the beginning because you don't have any mana uh, items for you just yet that it's kind of... It, it doesn't really last too long, and it just drains you entirely of mana, so that's why I don't really go with it until third. The second thing I slot into is the speed boost right there, which you saw uh, kind of somewhat help my Severog get away. He got away from that situation in order to survive. And now I'm going to support my teammate over here because uh, this is a little bit later on in the game. I use my ultimate here to slow down the enemy to prevent him from chasing my Murdoch. And that actually ends up killing Iggy because our teammates jump on them. And then it also ends up killing the enemy Greystone as well because he's stuck in between all of us. So it's a couple of easy kills right there. And that was because of Narbash. Okay, that was because of Narbash's ult, his stun, which was pretty awesome. As you guys saw there, I comboed it. I knocked them up first with the ult, and then as they were coming down, I hit them with the stun, which is a really good combo to use. And yeah, it's just, you want to use all of his moves in combination with each other when you're in the middle of a fight. Use your, your speed boost to try and run away, or try to accelerate your teammates to chase people. And also, you can use it to accelerate minions as well, so when you're pushing towers, don't forget to do that. And then also, use your health regenerative aura when you can. And it is a toggle, so try and keep it on for as much as you can. Don't keep bouncing between turning it on and turning it off, because it does drain a lot of mana when you have to turn it back on. So just keep it on for the duration of a fight as much as you can. I usually tend to use it up until I have about maybe 30% of my mana left, so I can save that mana for getaways and stuns and my ultimate if I need to in a fight, if I haven't used it yet. And uh, yeah, just the biggest thing with Narbash is to pay attention to his mana. Don't ever be out of mana. If you guys look at my Beast Builds uh, video, we do build them with a lot of mana, as you see right here in this gameplay. A lot of mana regen. All right, that 5.2 mana regen is all from the cards. I don't have blue buff on him right now. So you definitely want to keep track of that. And of course, build them tanky so that you're not afraid to get in the middle of the enemy and jump in front of your teammates. It's okay if you die as Narbash. You're supposed to be in the front line. You're a melee hero, and you're supposed to be there for your teammates. And here you're going to see a lot of good team fighting, utilizing all of his abilities at once, including also using the active card Honor of the Pure, which I have in this deck, which you guys can go ahead and check out again in my Beast Builds to see exactly what it does. But it does help in team fights. So here I'm just kind of zoning out, trying to help my uh, teammates zone out this enemy. And I use my ult to try and get the most amount of people in my ult, uh, including the Murdoch. You usually want to focus the Rangers, of course, in a team fight. We get ulted, so I use my speed boost to help people get out of the ult. And now we're back in it, using all of our abilities together. I'm still in the fight, trying to still be in there. I get knocked back, but I have plenty of health. And now I'm going to activate my health regeneration aura to help my teammates in this fight a bit more. And you want to stay with your allies that are in trouble. Here I'm trying to help out my Greystone. You want to help your allies, okay? You're not going to be dealing damage as Narbash. You're not going to deal enough damage. So don't go chasing a target. Stay near your allies and help them with their targets and make sure that they're okay. Right there I stun the enemy Greystone, allowing my Greystone to run away. And now we're going to go ahead and try and run that orb in with three of the enemy down and with three of us up. And that's just a really big important thing to do. Again, save your allies here. I actually end up saving my Murdoch with the stuns and I actually end up getting the final hit on that howitzer. And notice how my health regeneration aura is going up as much as I possibly can. Now... I couldn't say Murdoch from Greystone, however, but that's okay because I'm just, you know, killing time here at this point and I'm able to run away because of my ability, because of my Q, because of my mana regeneration and all that good stuff. So, 
If you guys want to know how to, you know, stay alive as Narbash, there you guys have it. That's pretty much how you have to do it. Really, you're going to have to be in the fight a long time. So have a lot of health, have a lot of armor, have a lot of mana. And it's all about sustainability with this bitch ass. You already know. So as leveling him up, you do want to build all that good, good stuff. And when, when you're raising his abilities, you want to focus on his stun because his stun does increase in stun duration the more you upgrade it. So it turns from like a 0.9 second stun into a 1.5 second stun, which is pretty gnarly. Okay, that's a really long time. One and a half seconds is a really long time in a MOBA that allows for a lot of stuff to happen. And uh, here, you know, I just tried to, uh, again, Narbash cannot fend off waves. So what I'm supposed to try and do here is just try my very best to deal as much damage as I can to the wave and distract the enemy long enough for my teammate to show up. And again, I'm going to go and support my teammate because I can't really clear waves that well. And that's one thing you guys need to know about Narbash is as a support, he always needs to be in lane with everyone else. I know I don't have too much early gameplay in this game, but... Uh, it is important for him, especially early game, to stay with a ranger or a caster in lane so that he can share that XP uh, with others because there's no way in hell, unless you build him damage and attack speed, which honestly I don't think you should be, uh, there's no way in hell that he'll be able to clear lanes on his own efficiently enough to prevent you know, sieges on towers and inhibitors and stuff like that. So that's why he always should be around allies. Except for right here, when, you know, I'm killing time, again, allowing my allies to show up because I know I'm tanky, using my ult to slow people down, keep the Greystone in the middle of the ult, stun him so he can't run away, and now here come my buddies to come and save the day, and there we go, we're dealing some damage, we're getting some kills, and it's all nice and tidy, and that was because I actually initiated, and you can initiate as Narbash, you really can because you're tanky, you're supposed to go in there first, you're supposed to initiate if you can, you're supposed to use all your abilities as much as you can together to help your allies, and look just like that, another three enemy, super super quick deaths for them, because Narbash over here drumming away, making sure everything's good. And we're actually we're going to end up running in all the way and uh, winning the game. Uh, I'm pretty sure nothing else happens because these stats of mine are going to end up being the same stats, 3-3 three, three, and 13. I'm pretty sure. Unless Maybe I get one more assist. I don't remember. But that's about it, guys. Narbash says he's an advanced hero. He's really not that bad. You just have to understand how to build him. That's the biggest problem with him is just understanding his build and just, you know, realizing that, yeah, he's a melee, but he's not going to... You know, he's not going to deal enough damage to really, you know, be like a fighter. Because he's not a fighter. He's a caster. He's supposed to help support the teammates, which is exactly what I do here with the health regeneration. And by the way, that health regeneration also helps your minions as well. So if you're really frantically pushing a lane and you really want to make sure that your minions push the lane well, you use the E ability, or circle I think it is for PS4, and that helps push lanes a lot. Like, it's pretty crazy how good that shit is for your minions. Uh, so that's actually how you can effectively push lanes as Narbash. Use the regeneration around your minions. Yes, it will drain a lot of mana, but that is how you keep your minions alive, and that's how you push towers quickly as Narbash. So there you guys have it. Hopefully you enjoyed these tips. Again, he's not that bad of a hero. It's pretty straightforward. Run in, run out, protect your teammates, support them, use your health regeneration, use all the abilities in conjunction together, and you'll be a great Narbash. And don't miss your throws, because those are important. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And as always, make sure you all have a wonderful day.